All right, uh, we are also following breaking news right now in Barrow County. Authorities there say they're investigating reports that multiple people have been found shot at a home in Winder. Atlanta News First, Don Shipman has just arrived there on the scene. He joins us live. Don, I know you just got there, but what have you been able to find out for us? All right, as soon as we got here, actually, the sheriff was able to um, hold a quick news conference and update us on exactly what happened. So just moments ago, I learned from the, the sheriff's department here that two people are dead, a husband and wife. They live in that home right there where you see the big white van in front of, and there's police tape that is cordoning off that area at the end of this cul-de-sac here in Kendall Park. It is a subdivision here in Winder. Another person also shot. That person is in the hospital at this hour. So the sheriff's the the, the sheriff was telling us that they responded right around 5 5:30 this morning to reports from neighbors saying that they heard what sounded like gunshots. When they got here, they found two people inside dead, a husband and wife. They're not releasing their names just yet, and they also found another person who they believe is the husband and wife's son with a gunshot wound. And like I mentioned, he was taken to the hospital. Uh, real quickly, I have a, a sound bite here from the, the sheriff. The third person that was shot was taken to an area hospital uh, where that, that gentleman is uh, being uh, treated for his injuries, but it doesn't appear to be life threatening. Can you tell us, you said um, husband and wife are the ones? That yes, we do. We have confirmed that, that it is husband and wife. Um, so we, uh, that's what we have at this point. Now I should mention too that right outside this subdivision and down the street here is a middle school. School started uh, off without a hitch, no issues there. The school was not on lockdown. I did ask that question of the sheriff, uh, but he told me that the, one of the reasons they wanted to get this information out as quickly as possible, they posted on social media, like we've been mentioning throughout the morning here, because they didn't want to worry the public because they believe that this is an isolated incident, something that is isolated to that house right there. Again, two people dead, a husband and wife, and they believe that their son, another person, that person is uh, injured from a gunshot wound. That person is in the hospital right now. They are looking to question him as soon as possible. We're live here in Winder. Don Shipman, Atlanta News First. So, Don, very quickly, they're not actually looking for a shooter yeah. at this moment. They believe that one of the three people in that home perhaps was the gunman or gunwoman? Exactly, and that's a really good point to bring up, Gravier. I'm glad that you did that because, yeah, they're saying the general public, there's no threat, no worry. They believe that this is an isolated incident. Okay. They believe that someone in the home is the person that pulled the trigger. They're still gotcha. trying to determine who that is. Hmm. All right. Don Shipman, we know you'll be staying out there and working to get more details for us. Thanks so much for that report. <laughs>